Bell had a chance except for this. This area right here. Pit stop one, 19 seconds, killed the 20 car. Yeah, this stop here cost him probably six seconds on the racetrack. More importantly, five positions got by him. Before we get into what went wrong, let's talk about how it's supposed to work. The fuel can, let's focus on the connection, the dry brake, and how it works. Now, if we take this, this aluminum structure here, let's just break it out here. It's a big circle, and there's a circle inside of it. So what right. happens is the fuel is actually in this center. That's where the fuel flows through into the fuel cell. And the outside is the air vent of where the air comes back out of the fuel cell, what used to be the catch can, and that air will end up coming back up through the tube into the, into the can. Fuel in the Sunoco, pretty easy to understand, down into the trunk. And then air is coming around the outside of this, comes out, up through this clear tube, and back into the top of the can. Makes it a very efficient way for the fuel to flow through, air to replace it. So the other thing to remind everybody is it takes two fuel cans. There isn't a catch can man holding the second can. You have to go back and get it. The exchange between the two, you think two, two and a half seconds is a good one. I think, yeah, I think two, two seconds is your target. NASCAR regulates this can. They can only put 12 gallons of fuel in it. So you have to get the second can. Here's where I want to focus on. Let's talk about that exchange. Leaves the car. We're going to put our clock in. We're looking for two, two and a half seconds. A little fumble. Hits the side of the dry brake. Finally gets plugged in. And you see it right here, right? 4.1, so that right there is four seconds where no fuel's being put in the car. We expect it to be two and a half, so that is already a net one and a half second loss. Yeah, definitely a loss here. There was a loss in the first can, just seemed like he was plugged in longer than, than what I would have expected. But really, this whole exchange, it's not just a fueler. It's behind the wall, it's everything. And you pointed out an issue that you saw here. Yeah, so let's take a look. This is the second can that's going in, right? He's gonna try to take a grab right here, just like he holds his first can. So if I play this forward, you're gonna see this gas man come back, Slow motion reach and misses. I mean, misses with his left hand. Completely misses the dump can. And what makes it so impressive is that I go forward, he's holding this with one hand, he finally gets the second hand, I'd have dropped the can. Nearly 100 pounds is going to the concrete, but what it does is gets his angle off. So as he goes forward, watch this plug in. It's low, gets too much angle in it, and then by the time it gets to here, now, we're at the point, remember I talked about those two circles, right? You've got the center circle that has fuel in it, you've got the outside that the air is coming in. We see that there's fuel coming out of this right now, which means the fuel is coming past mm -hmm. that air area and it's plugging up the air. It, it's, it's actually making a, a challenge out of this. Well, it's making another issue as well because I'm gonna show the vent line specifically. Drag that down and show you what I'm looking at. I'm gonna back up with the vent lines clean. All right, so right there, there's no fuel in the vent. Right. When the car is full, you see fuel come up the vent that signifies the car is full. In this situation, we know it isn't full. He just plugged in the second can. So as we go forward... As you're see seeing fuel coming yeah. down, fuel's going up. And that's because fuel's now gotten in the vent and it's plugged it. This yeah. Remember, this was supposed to be air. Yes. Right? That was supposed to be clean and be air, but instead it has fuel in it. And, and this to me is, this is a two liter bottle of Coke <laughs> that you just turned upside down and it's going blub, blub, blub. Where, where that can should dump, one and a half to two gallons a second, it's probably dumping less than a gallon a second now because it's got all that f fuel in it. The problem isn't the five seconds or six seconds that cost them, it's the positions it's on the, the racetrack. five positions on the racetrack. When you look at the restart that happened after stage two, Christopher Bell, you see him back there. Now, count the cars that we've got here because the 51, the three, the 17, the eight, and the 48 all passed him on that cycle. Yeah, so the problem with that is five positions cost you time. Another way to look at it, and this is the best way to look at it, plus I love to use this. Let's just put him where he should be. He was just in front of Alex Bowman. I think he could have stayed in front of Alex Bowman. That moves him all the way up on this restart. That makes a tremendous amount of difference. You put him in this position, and we're having the conversation today about why did every other crew chief miss the two-stop strategy?